Hello, everyone. My name is Han. Welcome to this presentation of our work, GRACE, a compressed communication framework for distributed machine learning. Our code is available on GitHub at this link. I will start with a quick introduction of the essential background and also the motivation of this work. In distributed machine learning, typically data parallel synchronized training, there is frequent and heavy communication between the training nodes, either in the parameter server mode or peer-to-peer -peer collective mode. The problem is once the model parameters get larger and larger, the communication becomes a bottleneck and therefore slows down the whole training process. To elevate this issue, researchers have proposed various gradient compression techniques to reduce the data volume during the communication. We have classified most of the compressors into four categories, namely quantization, specification, hybrid, and low rank. Quantization reduces the bit width of each element in the gradient from 32 bits floating point to representations with a lower bit width. While specification only takes a few elements of the whole gradient and keeps their original data type. For example, the top K method only selects the top K values by their magnitude. Hybrid methods combine quantization and specification. No rank methods decompose the gradient into no rank matrices. Unfortunately, although we have so many compressors, there is no standard benchmark telling us which one is better than others for a specific application and how different factors affect the performance, such as different model architectures, compression level, communication style, etc. Therefore, we think it is time to have a standard benchmark, which can help us compare these compressors in different machine learning tasks. Here we print GRACE, a unified framework for gradient compression dispute training. Grace has 16 compressors available out of the box for both PyTorch and TensorFlow, including TopK, QSGD, PowerSGD, etc. Moreover, it also provides a unified API to customize your own compressor so that you can compare it with the state of the art compression methods. In addition, we have integrated Grace into various popular machine learning benchmarks and performed a thorough evaluation for them. There are some features worth mentioning. First, the compression is applied per gradient in the model instead of on the whole model. This is so-called layer-wise compression. Second, GRACE supports the error feedback mechanism, which we call memory function in our implementation. Third, we have also optimized some of the operators by custom CUDA function. For example, the top K CUDA kernel we implemented is 200 times faster than the top K function provided by PyTorch. Here on the right side, we show you a code snippet of the top K compressor in PyTorch. To create a top K instance, you need to specify the compression ratio, the memory function, and in the communication primitive, such as all gather. And then the compress and the decompress function will help you do the work before and after the communication in the background. Next, I will show you an example of how to integrate Grace into your training script. Currently, Grace supports Horobot PyTorch and the TensorFlow version, and also PyTorch distribute data parallel backend. The example shown here is for Horobot PyTorch. First, you need to import three main components from Grace library and use them to create a Grace instance. Then all you have to do is to pass this in Grace instance to the horrible distributed optimizer. The compression, decompression, and the communication process are totally invisible to the end user. For advanced users who want to customize their own compressors, you only need to import the three abstract classes, namely communicator, compressor, and memory, and then implement their internal logic. That's all. 
Now, if you want to test the performance of your own compressor, we provide a series of standardized benchmarks adapted from PyTorch, TensorFlow, and the NVIDIA official repos, including image classification, image segmentation, recommendation, and the language modeling tasks. Later on, we will continue benchmarking these methods on the latest models, such as BERT, DOIM, and the graph neural, neural networks. We have open sourced this project so that anyone from our community can upload and share their results. We evaluate 16 compressors for seven benchmarks and explore several questions, including model quality versus throughput, model quality versus data volume, and computation overheads of compression. All the results are available in the paper. In this presentation, I will focus on the two key results below. The left one is ResNet 50 on ImageNet, and the right one is the NCF model on movie length 20 million dataset. In the left figure, the y axis is the top one accuracy, the higher is the better. While the x axis is the relative data volume, the lower is the better. A good compressor should maintain the baseline quality while reducing the data volume as little as possible. So in this figure, compressors in the top left zoom are the best. For ResNet 50, we can see that quite a number of compressors can reach the baseline quality. However, their relative data volume differs a lot. A random K is the best in this case, since it sends the least data without compromising the model quality. However, for NCF model, the best compressor has shifted from random K to power SGD. There are a lot of other insights that we couldn't show you right now due to the time limit. If you are interested, please go and check our full paper. To sum up, GRACE is the first work to build a unified framework and perform a quantitative evaluation of 16 compressors for five machine learning tasks. Our main findings show that low compressor that fits all machine learning tasks. And for a specific application, compression should always be chosen carefully to achieve a desired trade-off. And that's all. Thank you for your listening.